Those money-making ex-royals Harry and Meghan show no signs of slowing up with even more mega deals on offer this week. But as we now know, at least the profits from that book deal will be going to all of their favourite charities, won't they? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Hope you're keeping well this morning and as ever, we're in a brand new location. Behind me is the Maritime Centre. This is really the centre of, of course, all the things shipping that used to go on right here at the side of the beautiful River Thames. Back in the darker days, of course, you wouldn't want to wander around here after dark if you get my drift. But back to your story today. Now, basically, as we know, Prince Harry and Meghan have got, well, a wealth of money coming in thanks to Spotify, Netflix, and of course the mega deal with Random House Penguin. But the story of their making money just seems to go on. And what's strange about Harry and Meghan is they claimed, as we now all know, that they wanted to quit the British royal family for a simpler, more pared down life. And as they showed on that Oprah Winfrey documentary, they've got dogs, chickens, growing their own vegetables. It was all very Waltons, didn't you think? But really, at the core of all of this is making money. Now we're not quite sure who wants to make all this money but we do know that it's Prince Harry who can bring in the lion's share and like a bit of a sap he's obviously thinking this is uh, going to be protecting his family for years to come. But what am I talking about making even more money? Well as you know the book will really create a lot of interest worldwide and I'm not sure if you know this but really the money is made from a book not from the sales of you and me buying it but from the syndication deals whether it be newspapers TV that sort of stuff now I can tell you already first and exclusive here on the show that Harry and Meghan have been offered thousands of pounds for the very first sit-down interview with him to discuss his book it doesn't stop there simply because he would be paid by the channel but then he'd also get syndication rights too which would be incredibly lucrative so of course now you can understand why he said yes to signing on for this it's not just simply the book but it's everything else attached with that and very soon i'll bring you news of even more deals that are on the table that it looks likely that prince harry will sign on to do of course once he's checked the contract with that rather sharp eagle-eyed megan Neil Sean in the heart of London.